The weak stone set by ICC's request to have President Uhuru Kenyatta physically attend a status conference on October 8th has angered his political base. Hakuna haja ya kupiga piga farasi ambaye amekufa ni maiti. Kesi ya ICC ilikufa zamani. But the debate has now shifted to the possible legal and diplomatic implications that would follow if the president fails to attend the session in person. When the court issues summons, the, the first summons that were issued is on the understanding that uh, summons are sufficient to ensure that he attends before court when he's required to. So if uh, the court feels that the summons, uh, existing summons are not sufficient, then we might see other drastic measures like uh, issues so far. I want to forest. The judges have not, have not have any cause to believe that he he will not um, comply with the judge's order. Uh, if you're talking about consequences, it's up to the judges to assess um, the legal consequences that may follow should uh, a suspect, uh, an accused person, not uh, not uh, comply with the court orders. Most of us are oblivious to seeing the distinction between uh, Uhuru as an indicted person and Uhuru as the president of Kenya. ICC's outreach coordinator in Kenya, Maria Kamara, says Kenyatta's legal counsel can still indulge the court on other options for President Kenyatta. It's entirely up to the defense team of the accused person to request to the judges or propose to the judges, suggest to them which mode of, of presence or appearance uh, uh, they will prefer for the judges to consider. So a proposal by the defense team will not auto automatically translate to um, a, a, an acceptance. If we had option, those options, he would have been told. But this time the request was specifically that he does appear. And you remember even uh, in, in the very beginning of his uh, uh, appearing that it was that there will be occasions when he'll be required to appear personally and there will be occasions when he could even do video or a conference uh, a hearing. If Kenyatta chooses to travel to The Hague, he will set history as the first sitting head of state to ever appear before judges of the International Criminal Court. The ICC does not distinguish on the basis of uh, status in society. And his appearance, even though he's the uh, head of state of Kenya, would not have um, a negative impact in, in regard to diplomatic uh, uh, relations. Although uh, the African Union pronounced themselves in the way they did, to me, and uh, in international law, and as far as the ICC is concerned, that was immaterial. What was material is a country like Kenya deciding whether they want to continue to be a member or not. The ICC has indicated that the session will discuss what it calls pending issues in the Kenyatta case and the prosecution's claims that Kenya has refused to cooperate are expected to be a main feature. Ashamwilu, KTN, Nairobi.